Hello, welcome. This is Julian Edwards of Naxos Education. It's so lovely to be involved in the MTA conference once again, and I'm really looking forward to seeing many of you in person again after three long years. If you can just spare me a few moments, I'm going to take you through a couple of our digital online resources. My email address is at the end of this presentation, so if you need any more information, you can just get in touch. The first resource is our flagship resource called Naxos Music Library. It's the world's biggest classical music streaming and written resource. And we can broadly divide it into two parts. The first part is the streaming part, which uh, comes online and via an app. There's over two and a half million tracks, 170,000 discs, all of the major labels as well as ours that you can see here. Um, we've got things like the entire John Rutter catalogue and hundreds and hundreds of smaller and independent labels. Really important, there are no adverts on this. It's a seamless playback for long movements and there's no personal data required for an educational subscription either. Each recording has full track listings and full inlay card details, as you can see here. There's also a bespoke playlist facility, so you can create your own playlist, for example, for set works. There's an advanced search capacity, which I dare say is slightly better than other streaming services, particularly for classical music, particularly when you're looking for musical genres or uh, particular musical eras. The second part of Naxos Music Library is the comprehensive written resource side. This includes a bank of essays, including some written by prominent MTA members, uh, in fact, on significant works, musical genres, composers and eras. It includes a study guide which has hints and tips for GCSE, A-level and IB. It includes an oral trainer, there are over a thousand opera synopses and libretti. And there's also a link to an interactive online dictionary with many audio examples. Naxos Music Library also has a separate family of resources, including a specific jazz library, a specific world music library, works database, which is full of program notes and interesting biographies, and Naxos Video Library, which has virtual concert halls, documentaries, uh, musical journeys and interviews with uh, conductors and composers. Moving on to our newest resource, which is a really exciting addition to our portfolio, Naxos Music Box. Music Box is a huge resource in itself, offering material for approximately years four to nine. Um, hesitates to use Ofsted terminology, but this resource really is a deep dive into the world of music. There are over 4,000 listening and video examples covering 60 of the world's great composers, the instruments of the orchestra, voice and choral music, stage and screen, world music as well. There are playlists in development to align with the recommendations of the Model Music Curriculum, Google Classroom, compatible activities, and lots of under, other individual group and class tasks. Uses for the resource range from simple class singing activities right through to GCSE group composition work, taking in whole school music assemblies, wider listening, and understanding activities along the way. One of the most important aspects of Music Box is downloadable teaching resource material, which is available for every activity in this section. Although it doesn't spoon feed you lesson plans, it does provide the material for individual lessons or even whole schemes of work with clear guidelines, clear learning outcomes and cross curricular pointers on every download. So that's a little bit about both of our main resources. It's impossible to cover the breadth and depth of these in just this short video. Um, so uh, for the purposes of the conference, I'm making these resources absolutely free to every MTA delegate for up to a month. You just need to contact me for login details or come and see me at the conference. And there are special subscription prices for MTA members if you subscribe before the end of June as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this little introduction. I'll be at the conference throughout the weekend to 
give you more in-depth demonstrations or to answer any questions. So do please come and chat to me and um, I look forward to seeing many of you there.